All right, hello. Welcome to the weather updates. Supposed to be 9.30, but it is closer to 10 o'clock, courtesy of Nice Bus being late. But anyway, today, very uh, we had a little rain in the morning, and then a cal- and then it was calm. We had like cloudy skies and windy, and then the evening, right around 5 o'clock, snow squalls. Uh, we didn't get a snow squall warning for them, but uh, this is what it looked like outside. And we got a coating to an inch. It's very slippery out there. I have a whole video of what it was like out there with the wind and everything. It'll be up later tonight. Uh, and then blowing snow tonight. That's uh, what it looks like tonight with the blowing snow uh, off the roofs. Uh, so let's get to the latest wind reports and snow reports from the National Weather Service. And before I forget, because I probably will forget, don't forget to set your clocks back ahead tonight for an, a- an hour for the daylight savings time. Uh, so uh, fail. F- so we got wind gusts up to 56 mile an hour at Bridgeport, a 61 mile an hour wind gust in Bethany. This is Connecticut. A 53 mile an hour wind gust at Brooklyn College. A 58 mile an hour wind gust in Bayville. A 45 mile an hour wind gust in Wontaw. A 55 mile an hour wind gust in Midtown Manhattan. A uh, 54 mile an hour wind gust at JFK. 51 in Kew Gardens as well. And of course, Suffolk County with the higher numbers 59 in Stony Brook, 57 in East Mauritius, Great Gall Island, 52 mile an hour wind gust. Uh, so, for some pretty strong wind gusts today. Uh, Tappan Zee, light, 57 mile an hour wind gust. A Maritime Station, east southeast of Norwalk, 59 mile an hour wind gust. Shinnecock, 57 mile an hour wind gust. So, some pretty substantial winds out there when these snow squalls come through. And you'll notice a lot of those are in the afternoon, too, as well. Uh, Looking at the radar now, uh, not a whole lot going on, uh, but we did have that snow uh, snow over us earlier. We can look at the rewind right now. You can see just some scattered snow showers around. This is your satellite. Skies are clearing. Um, let's go. Actually, we're not done yet because I got to go to the latest snow snow amounts. Uh, now uh, here on the island, not very much uh, snow, uh, just a coating. Uh, you can see Laguardia reporting 0.4 inches, but upstate, up up in the Hudson Valley, you can see two inches. 2.5 in Bergen Lakes, but still not as much as we thought. Because um, we had what wound up happening was we're going to go to the Ventu Sky now, look at the radar, rewind this radar back a little bit, and show you what happened in the, around this afternoon. See, there was a break. We thought this was going to this was going to fill in, so that didn't happen. It was like almost like a dry slot. But then what happened is as we got toward the afternoon, this area here moved in right here. You see that band right there. That was your snow squall. Moved in Long Island right around 5 o'clock, New York City. And it, boy, did it come down. It actually intensified as it got over Long Island. And, uh, well, I have, like I said, I have a whole video of it. It was, it was pretty impressive. Uh, and you can see it slowly moving through Long Island there and putting down a coating to maybe an inch of snow. But it's just, just a small coating, but it's a very icy coating because the snow at the beginning was wet and uh, it made for a lot of ice. And so it's very slippery on the sidewalks and side streets. Looking at the current temperatures outside, let's go ahead and look at that. Uh, so you can see those wind gusts still gusting up there. So it's 25 degrees at Islip, uh, 25 degrees wind gusts to 31 west northwest to 25 winds gusting to 31 miles an hour. And if we look at some of the uh, observations from today at Islip, you can see the snow being reported there and some of those strong wind gusts. Uh, associated with it you can see in the morning we're in the 40s and then look at when that snow moved in that was like almost like an arctic front because the temperatures went from like the mid 30s down to the mid 20s uh so the temperatures really dropped you can see the dew points also dropping as well as that arctic air moves in it's going to be a brief shot of arctic air it's going to be in our area uh but it's going to be intense uh tonight into tomorrow and then it and then it relents uh, but it gives you an idea of uh, the conditions across the area and some of these wind gusts that we're still experiencing, by the way, across the area. So let's go look and see what we got coming our way because, uh, you know, we got this cold air coming in. You can see that. Uh, but uh, we're just going to go over the weather tomorrow. I'll have a more detailed weather update for you tonight because I'm running behind because of nice bus being late. I have other stuff I got to do. Uh, so I uh, got that high moving in. Uh, but it is going to be cold. Let's go look at the H triple R. Uh, no precipitation tomorrow. Uh, well, we might actually have some a snow shower uh, move into the area right around perhaps seven o'clock or so. Um, seven eight o'clock, maybe a little snow shower here with this little wave here coming along there. Uh, but there won't be any cold. Uh, it won't be any cold air. It'll actually be warmer air behind it. So looking at the temperatures tonight, we're going to drop probably to around twenty degrees by morning. 
Uh, and then for tomorrow, uh, we will uh, get up into the mid 30s, uh, probably 33 to 35 degrees. Uh, maybe a little closer to 38 in uh, southern Jersey. Uh, it's going to be a cold day. Tomorrow night will not be as cold with those clouds rolling in. And then for Monday, a lot warmer. And when we look at the dew point and wind flow, you'll see why that is. So right now, we've got the strong northwest winds, which will back off a little bit as we go through the day. It'll be breezy, but it won't be as windy as it is today. And then the winds, uh, by the afternoon, the winds calm down a little more. It's still going to be a decent breeze out there, but you can see uh, that dry air at the two points in the single digits. But look what happens as we get toward the evening. Winds shift more to the southwest. Milder air comes in. And uh, we stick with that west to, the, west to southwesterly flow. Uh, and actually, that westerly flow may help get us uh, more into the 50s on Monday. So we're going to go from this cold air right back into the warm air again. So let's go to the RGM here, look at the skies, and get that sorted out. So... Here we are with the skies tomorrow. Tonight we'll have a few clouds and we should clear out by morning and be mostly sunny, but there could be some more clouds in the afternoon uh, popping up, especially as you get later in the afternoon and the evening with that little disturbance. Could be some serious some mid-level clouds in there. And then it clears the guy out again and we should have plenty of sunshine on Monday with maybe a few high clouds around. But other than that, that is going to wrap up this weather update. Sorry for it being brief. I do have a video for you that I got to work on. And again, it's all because of Nice bus being uh, 20 minutes late. Thank you for watching.